What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you I did not anticipate being on Concord again for as long as we was. So one of the sh one of the topics on the docket may not get covered. But let's get to Dragon Age. Okay? Let's get to Dragon Age. So I wanted to kind of Shout out to Asmongold. <laughs> uh, where is it? There's me right there, and then there's Jeff behind me. Mm -mm. Where is it? Where is it? So Dragon Age, apparently, this has been a uh, very controversial thing online. And so they introduced their character creator, the combat. Here we go. Our gods are back. Our gods. How do we stand against that? After 10 years, we're now just a little over a month away from playing Dragon Age The Veil Guard. I played a hefty... I actually didn't realize that it was coming out in over a month. So we're going to be playing this... Oh my god. Wow. We're not playing? Oh, I'm playing this game 100%. Absolutely, I'm playing. Do you really think I would miss an opportunity to play a game like this? Are you insane? Um, it's his job to play games, so it's not like it's it's not like um, it's a situation like us where we we're we're, not, we're gonna avoid playing games to make a stand. You know what I'm saying? But it's his job to play games, good or bad, woke or not. So no need to be angry at Asmund Gold. Okay. Seven hours of Bioware's first original game since Anthem in 2019, and. Anthem. How's Anthem doing? Don't look up Anthem. I will not take any Anthem slander. They take it off Steam? Never was on Steam? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good, good. good. I'm Shoot. sure there's a lot of people playing it then. Fourth mainline yeah. installment. You know what? Fuck you, Asmongo. I liked Anthem. And in in the Dragon Age series, starting with the prologue and later loaded into several different saves. As a longtime fan, what I'll say is 10 years is a very long time, but so far, what I'll say is 10 years. Ew! No, that must be the old game. There's no way that's the new game, right? That's not the that's not the new game. What we just saw right there, that's not the new game. But so far, the Veil Guard hasn't disappointed. It hasn't disappointed. Who is that's Alyssa Mora? Who is Alyssa Mora? Let's let's find out who she is. Alyssa Mora, who are you? Um, okay, I don't trust that. Big Shirley. I'm addicted to the good life. I didn't do it. I just, I just had a feeling. I just had a feeling. Look at this bullshit. You cannot make this shit up. God damn it. Where is you it? can't make this shit up. Oh, that's on threads. Fuck no. This is Alyssa, guys. Purple hair, eyeliner. Big Shirley! I'm just saying. <laughs> I just had a feeling, man. I just had a feeling. I can, I can smell a Big Shirley, man. <laughs> I can just smell it. Every time I just knew I could hear the cholesterol in her voice when she was talking. I could hear it. I could just, I could feel the diabetes in the vibrations of her voice. I just knew it. 
That's why I'm like, like normally we don't look. I can just hear it. Just one more time for the one time, y'all. Big Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get back to the video. I'm I'm sorry. That's right. I've never seen this before. There's something kind of exciting about uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Now I could talk to you about the combat. Yeah. And I will. Or the gorgeous locales. That's coming too. Or the way it felt. Or I'm the sorry, guys. gorgeous locales. Am I the only person that looks at this and I think that this is below standard? Like, your average Unreal slop Souls-like rug pull NFT game has better graphics than this. That's coming too. Or the way it felt to see Varric and Solus again. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Or I could skip straight to the character creator mm -hmm. and start with... All right, let's see it. There's so much hair. Look. I loved Dragon Age Inquisition. No, I don't want to see this fucking shit. Because every single time that they have a bunch of hairstyles, it's like five hairstyles for men and 55 hairstyles for women. Bingo! And don't even get me started with nigga hair. I get the same bitch-ass fucking dreads every game. I don't get no waves. <laughs> and listen, I'm cool. It's just don't be talking to me about diversity when you're going to give me the same killmonger cut in every fucking game. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. You just can't. You can't make it up. Shout out to uh, uh, Brandon, the uh, uh, anime guy. What's going on, my guy? There's bald, short, Fade, long hair, balding. That's basically it. Oh, dreadlocks. Yeah, usually they have one for dreadlocks, right? For white guys that are black, right? Sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> for guys that are black. <laughs> Shut up, Asmago. Maybe a couple of those. That's it. But fans have long acknowledged Jesus. the limitations of its character creator. The Veil Guard believes okay, so you, you got the, emo haircut? the limitations of its character creator. Oh, that that's okay. Uh, but this is no, the old game, really right? Haircut. Never mind. I was wrong. Character creator. No. The Veil Guard oh, yeah, blew me away in that regard. Yeah, the last After one the lackluster options of the last mm -hmm. entry, it's wild to see what we've got to look forward to. Yeah. Thirty hair options for Kunari and eighty. Dude, why does that look so fucking terrible? Go back. No. The Veil Guard oh, yeah, blew me away in that regard. Yeah, the last After one the lackluster options of the last mm -hmm. entry, it's wild to see what we've got to look forward to. Yeah. Thirty hair options. Guys, does this not does this not look terrible to you? Does this not look like it's not even like rendered? I don't know. And then Okay, let me just continue. Options for Kunari and 88 for non-Kunari, complete with gorgeous physics all as girl rooks hair scurries color. around all Northern girl hair Thetis. Options. So many different hair oh. textures are represented, whether you'd like totally straight hair. I gotta tell you guys, okay. like I've been very negative about this game, but I've gotta give it to them. I think the hair particles and the hair physics are really impressive. It's some of the best I've ever seen in the game. Let me find out that's where they spent all the money in the fucking character creator. I've gotta give it to them. I think they did a really good job with it. Yeah. If anything, we'll have fun. Wait. To be waves. That's what the hell? Where my where my video go? Jesus. It's really, really good. Sea curls. In making my character, I was drawn immediately to a long braid that whipped around as quickly as I did. Kunari Horn. Wait, 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 wait. Fat Tony says, I don't even play stuff like this. I'd rather catch him in the streets of Los Santos. Fat Tony. Let's, guys, let's play a game of what race is he? Fat Tony, are you a nigga? Go ahead, Fat. Let us know. We'll wait. 
We'll wait. We waiting on you, Fat Tony. <laughs> Kenny says that man blocker in eleven fifty nine. Come on, Fat Tony. Don't you lie either. I knew it, nigga. Talk about some maybe. You motherfucker, get your Negro casual collection playing ass. <laughs> Motherfuckers, I don't play shit like this. Catch me in the streets of uh, Los Santos. Let me guess. You got Madden 2K and a fucking boxing game, don't you? <laughs> I told y'all that Negro casual collection is deadly, bro. I had to escape from that shit, too. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't, I ain't even judging you, Fat Tony. We see a massive improvement. Yeah. With 49 unique styles, options range from large and imposing to mm -hmm. decorative or even asymmetrical. Okay. That said, yes, their foreheads can look pretty jarring. I play. I think this looks fucking garbage. Like their foreheads are too big. They look like scuffed Klingons. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't like it. As a Kunari mage during most of my preview, and will say I got used to the look pretty quickly. Dragon Age: The Veil Guard actually only marks the second game of the series where you can play as a Kunari, so the odd imbalance of forehead versus face feels like stylistic growing mm -hmm. pains. I remain curious about whether more time with the character creator. Can you make her boobs bigger? Pains. I remain curious. Body no. no, you can't make the fucking boobs bigger. Come on, let's be real. Let's go to that. About whether more time with the character creator might help. The air shock of Dragon Age 2 is, in my opinion, such a beautifully crafted model. And I would love to be able to create a Kunari Rook that. I'm sorry, but this just looks so much cooler. Yeah, I mean, it looks darker. Dragon Age. The Vilgard looks so much more color, colorful, and let's be honest, which I feel like when I play it, I'm gonna get bent over and, and, and touched by a gay guy. That I'm just saying. Nigga gay, nigga gay, nigga gay, nigga gay, nigga gay, I'm just saying. Nigga gay, nigga. I think this looks way cooler. Feels as memorable. Customization uh -huh. certainly doesn't stop Head at shape. hair, or horns, of course. Every aspect of your rook is editable, even allowing for facial asymmetry if you choose. Uh -huh. Sliders allow you to change everything from head shape to the melanin in your skin to the presence of the why she, Bro, why she got Tetris on her face? <laughs> Fat Tony says, I got Baldur's Gate 3 Cyberpunk on the back burner. Shouts out to you, bro. <laughs> Shouts out to you for escaping the Negro casual collection, man. Like, yeah, what the fuck? Go. Perhaps Every time I hear that word, I can only think Uncle Ruckus with Revitiligo. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I, I, I cannot hear that word without thinking of the boondocks. I got Revitiligo. <laughs> Let's skip to the game. I was standing in one place holding down the left trigger. This felt like a return to the pace of Dragon Age 2, with innovations that approve upon the experience of battle overall. The Veil Guard what is your camera and why I produces a new fighting style for mages featuring an orb and dagger for close quarters combat. It's tailor made for players like me who love magic but also really like to stab. Yeah, like red mage, sure. During my preview, I played through the prologue and then dropped forward into It's actually crazy. Like I remember playing Red Mage in Final Fantasy 14 and it was crazy to me how well designed it was. I actually think it's probably one of the best designed classes in a game that I've ever played. It was so good. Various points of Act One, so I really got to quickly experience the progression. Rook and their companions. Can so it's an action game. I just don't understand that. It's an action game. <laughs> Manny Lamont says she loves magic. Yeah, that's right. Big Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just don't understand. I just don't I just don't understand why we why we have an action game here. Why do we have an action game here, guys? And why it, I can't play this game. 
here's the thing. I want to play it because it's Dragon Age, but I cannot play this. I can't buy this game. Hold on, let me say that. I cannot buy this game. I can play it. I cannot financially support this game. I can't. Top surgery? Really? Oh, guys, guys, guys. Guys. Guys! Shout out to Melanie Mac. Dragon Age Vilgar adds top surgery scars in a universe where one could just change their body with magic. They instead do this. This is perverted indoctrination. There's no other explanation. I couldn't have said it better. What's the point of the magic if you got to go and get surgery that risk your life? Speaking of, where is it? Is this the one? Let me zoom in so y'all can see this. Let me, let me, let me, let me get rid of the, let me uh move the chat. Hold up. I miss my breast so much. I'm sitting in bed crying because I just miss my breast so much. I got top surgery. You stupid, you stupid, you stupid, you stupid. You stupid. When I was 18, I'm 27 now. Even if I get implants, they won't actually be mine. I want mine back. Not only were they mine, but they were great looking. I will never get, have them back. Never. I never ever thought that this would happen to me. I was always one billion percent sure I made the right decision. But the past couple of years, I finally realized, and it's so fucking hard to comprehend this and accept it. I'm going through a mourning period right now over my old body. I miss it so much. I look at girls nowadays, any girl at all, and I'm completely jealous. At least they still have their natural body. I feel like an imposter. You are. <laughs> like I can't even claim that I'm actually a girl. You can't. <laughs> even though I am. You're not. <laughs> my voice is fucked. I have no boobs. My voice is fucked. What the fuck? I have no boobs. I'm constantly worried about passing as a female, even though I, I, uh, I fucking am one. I feel so much regret, and it's eating me alive. Let's go ahead and pour one out for this goofy. What more do you want from me? <laughs> you stupid. This is what stands on the other end for you top surgery having motherfuckers. And don't even get me started on the bottom surgery. I don't even want to talk about that because that is. That nigga, nigga, we will pass. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? We will pass on that one. <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes, you're right. You are so right. Whoever said that. Congratulations. You played yourself. You played yourself. And you know what? I kind of feel bad for you because you did it at 18. But at the same time, I don't. This is what they're perpetuating in these video games. So for all of you conservatives out there who continue to ignore the video game industry, not realizing that your kids, your nieces, your nephews are playing them, this is what's waiting on them on the other side. More propaganda. That's right. So we done. I can't, I can't, I can't financially support Dragon Age. I can't. I want to play it because it's Dragon Age and I'm a big fan of Dragon Age. But I can't, I can't, I can't in good faith do this. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. 